This is Wretched Radio with Todd Friel. Can't think of an exception. This is Wretched Radio. Every time God gives a commandment and we submit, even when it doesn't feel good, when we don't like it, if you dig just a little bit deeper, I believe every time, I can't think of an exception, every time there will be a joy benefit. There will be something that should cause you to delight in being obedient. Obviously, to be obedient to God should be a joyful duty and delight. But there is always a way of looking at a command to go, oh, wow. Not only does that benefit me, my obedience brings about something eternal and transcendent. I can't think of an exception to this. For instance... God tells you, don't look with lust. Don't sit around the water cooler making body jokes. Don't hang out with your buds and when a babe walks by, start making cat calls and doing double entendres. Don't do it. And your flesh might go, but I kind of like doing that. And God says, don't. And so it should be a joyful duty to say, then I'm not going to do it. But let's just dig a little bit deeper. What are your buddies thinking when you don't? When everybody else is going, (laughs) and you don't participate, what do you suppose they're thinking? Huh, what's up with that dude? Clearly, he has blood in his veins. He's a male, clearly, He should delight in this. Why not? He must be different than the rest of us. Now tell me, that doesn't cause you to go, wow, I'm not just denying myself and some fleshly lusts. I am actually doing and saying something that is bigger and more profound than just going along with the pack. And so it is when it comes to COVID masks. If you do not like the idea of submitting to your government, perhaps this will give you some, wow, I get to wear a mask mentality. Let's jump back into First Peter, if and you recall. <laughs> You're shaking your head. <laughs> yeah. See, I don't have to worry about it because I have the old medical exemption sort of thing. Because of your breathing. With the asthma. So you don't but have my- to. My wife is livid. Yeah, I get that. I understand. And there is especially, I think, for Americans where freedom and liberty. Well, we used to we used to talk about that in schools. Not so much. No, not at all anymore. Yeah. The idea of rugged individualism. Keep your masks off my body. I get it. I totally, thoroughly get it. And yet. The admonition is clear. Submit to your government and do with what you're told. Unless X5, you are being told to sin, put on the mask. Peter, however, I think gives us more than just an admonition. I think that there is a, there's an uplifting element to obedience that we too often overlook. Consider the context. 1 Peter 2, 13 and 14. Be subject for the Lord's sake. Wow, that's an interesting little prepositional phrase. So when I am submitting, I am subjecting myself to a human institution. I'm being obedient no matter how they behave. Because remember, when this was written, Nero was the king of nasty. And Peter says, submit to that institution. Whether it be the emperor as supreme or to governors. In other words, whatever level of government, you do what you're told as sent by him to do a task. Because remember, a bad government is better than no government at all. Paging Minneapolis, hello. Paging Minneapolis, you want people in authority to punish bad guys, right? Subject for the Lord's sake. So what does that look like? It means no matter how bad the government is, there's no exception that is offered by Peter or by Paul in Romans chapter 13. Remember that culture. You had rampant debauchery going on, sexual perversion in the streets, infanticide. 
government corruption, abuse of women, immorality, violence, submit for the Lord's sake. Just obey the rules. If they're not telling you to sin, do what you're told. Pay taxes, render unto Caesar that which is Caesar's. From the cripple gate. So if the school tells you to cut your hair, you cut your hair willingly. If the flight attendant tells you to turn off your phone, you turn off your phone joyfully. If the government tells you to wear a mask in public, you comply enthusiastically. That is what is being asked of us when we are told to submit as unto the Lord. We are submitting to him when we submit to those that he has put in place, whether they are pleasant and polite, evil or apparently moral. We are submitting to him. This is a heart issue, kids. Maybe your mom's having a crabby day. Do what you're told happily as unto the Lord. Madam, you have a situation in your home and the husband says what is a decision that perhaps you don't agree with. Surrender to the Lord and you are doing something eternal. But wait, there's even more. To have a submissive attitude is to do what? Just be obedient? Perhaps even reap an eternal reward? That ain't shabby, but how's about you get to reflect the nature of Jesus Christ? Did he or did he not submit to the government? Yes, he did, to the point of death. And that is what we should be thinking when the government tells us to do something that gets you. I'm sorry, what was it? Robin was what? Ballistic? Was that the terminology you used? Go with livid. (laughs) 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 Which is really funny because I know Robin. When I think of Robin, I actually think sweet and pleasant, not livid. Most of the time. (laughs) There was ranting. We can be acquiring eternal rewards. We are being obedient to God and rendering it as an act of worship to him. And we're looking like Jesus Christ. Hold on. It gets even better. Submitting to the authority for the sake of God tells others you trust him and his sovereignty. You are giving a testimony When everybody's grumbling about putting on a mask and you go, I'm putting on my mask. What are you saying? God rules and reigns over me. This must be good for me. Otherwise it wouldn't be happening. So I'm going to do it as a joyful testimony to him. Furthermore, and this brings us back to what I think is the key verse in first Peter five chapters. It's right in the middle. First Peter three 15 to act in such a way that people ask about the hope that lies within you. People who don't know Jesus that hate wearing masks, um, you're not making sense, dude. Everybody rebels, cuts corners, grumbles about authority. Why don't you? It's almost as if, like, you believe that God is in control or something. Bingo! That is what we can be doing when we are obedient to the government and we do something That is really annoying when the rest of the world, your pals, your family, and perhaps now imagine this for a second. Look at the opportunity that you have right now. Let's just say, I'm going to make this up. Your name is Robin. We'll just say something like that. Sure. And let's just say when the family has been together, you've been making it crystal clear that you're livid, which I believe is the correct word. You're livid about the idea of wearing masks. And then your kids see you put on that mask without grumbling and complaining. And they go, uh, Robin or mom, what's up? You know, God has put this government in place. God is my authority. I'm submitting to him and I'm going to do it happily without grumbling. Whoa. Now tell me that wouldn't be impactful. Tell me that wouldn't make a statement. Is that easy? Not a chance. 
Now, when you feel deeply and passionately about something, and chances are pretty fair, it's been informed a lot by 21st century Western ideals, specifically American ideals. This is a testimony. What, what, what are you saying to the world when you are obedient? Conclusion from Cripplegate. Submit to every human institution for the Lord's sake. This is a dazzling witness, and it is pure worship. When you submit to the authority over you, you are acknowledging that God placed them there, trusting God to do his will for you and through them, and trusting God to be good to you and bring his justice in the end. So, my anti-mask wearing friend, Might I encourage you to consider not just the admonition, but the benefits of being a pro-masker if it is required. This is Wretched Radio. Uh, Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is... uh... 